for science experiments with Tame. Today we're going to be talking about heredity. Today I'm going to be explaining how you can evaluate string up infix expressions using SWIFT. So hello there and welcome to the new tutorial. My name is Henry Dutch. When was uh, the first time you started coding? Well, actually, I was five years old. Please welcome Tane Bashki. Age five, you, you were coding. So for some of us out there, what is coding? Well, coding is essentially writing down instructions, a list of instructions for computers to be able to do anything. In order to make a computer do something, you need to tell it exactly what to do when something happens or if something else happens, you have to do this, you have to tell it exactly what can happen, and computers need to know everything beforehand. They cannot create things like animals or humans can. Special guests of honor, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Abby Kimolaji. I'm the youngest member of the Creative Foundation, and I am so honored to welcome you all to the 20th anniversary gala of the Creative Foundation Winnipeg. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Je m'appelle Abby Kimolaji, et aujourd'hui j'ai l'honneur de vous accueillir au gala 20e anniversaire du Creative Foundation. We're delighted that you come to celebrate with us the work that my dad, Mr. Lisa Kimolaji, started 20 years ago. And we're so grateful that you're here to support the future of the Foundation. A huge thank you to Peron and Janice Bellman for supporting the wonderful work of the Great Foundation. And of course, None of this would have happened without the teams of the Creative Foundation themselves. So, a huge thank you to the team of the Creative Foundation. Yes, you got all of them. Now, I'm especially excited to be here in Winnipeg. A part of the Creative Foundation at a young age, where I was introduced to some great mentors, such as Yisa, who had taught me that there's no limitation to whatever you try doing. Just get started, do your best, learn and grow until you find your success. I've taken those life lessons with me and uh, I've always been appreciative of those times in my life. So.
Hello, this is Roma Glue, a new painting medium inspired by the painting technique of Mr. Isaki Moleji. Now, I'm going to create a work of my own. First, I paint a background. Second, I draw on the canvas using the Rimmel glue. Third, I paint over the dry Rimmel glue. And then finally, I peel off the Rimmel glue. Let's get started. Isa has legitimately, consistently, um, in such a, a welcoming and collaborative manner for decades, made the art scene in Manitoba and across the country far more representative than it has ever been. And he has been a proponent for ensuring that Black voices and Black representation are not uh, excluded, are not silenced, are not embraced within the context of not only Manitoba, but nationally. That is back-breaking work. That is a heavy load to carry. And he has done it with nothing but kindness and authenticity for, again, decades. Can we please just, again, acknowledge yourself. Um, on this monumental moment in time, this is a historic moment. You know, I'm someone who has been passionate about the arts throughout my entire life. I'm fortunate to have been raised in a household where art and Black artists and Black voices were, were not just important, they were foundational to how we were raised to see the world. And growing up here as a first-generation Canadian, I am Nigerian, I am Igbo, I have an understanding and an appreciation for how Black people have contributed to the very fabric of this country. And not everyone has that. Not everyone has that appreciation and understanding of how integral black people have been to how this country has been evolving for a very long time. And the efforts of Canadian Black Artists United will ensure that black voices, that black artistry, that our lived experiences, our history, our present and our future will never again be erased or minimized. 